up, and Wargamers? Welcome to the meditations for our most recent Star Wars Shatterpoint game. I am continuing my wonderful tradition of just not being good at this game. Because, uh, like, let, let's be honest, like, ah Ahsoka going over here and just Mace just absolutely dumbing her was the dumbest move I've made this game. She should have come over here and just taken this point. Because um, that was that was points that you were scoring a lot of, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, I just I, I kept left it unanswered. I kept things like, yeah, three successes. That's not a problem. I rolled six successes on my on my thing, and yeah, his so, expertise conversion on his Jedi Master side is absurd. It's pretty darn amazing. Yeah, May, Mace is Mace is just really good, and unfortunately, I didn't have the melee capabilities to really go hard into you. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, which was which really kind of sucked. And that, that, I mean, early on, I had a lot of really good momentum early on. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I just, I wasn't able to convert. Like, once Anakin kind of got going over here. Yes. Right? Like, I just, I wasn't really able to do much of anything at that point. And uh, it was unfortunate. Um, but no, like, you you played well. I think you made a lot of really good uh, good moves in there. Mace just kind of chose this part of the board and, and hung he out here all there for a while. <laughs> he, did. he did. But you know what? He scored you a bunch of points. He did. Right? He scored me a lot. And when he did move over here, he wound up enabling Anakin to score a lot more points later. He he's just great. Yep. And um, and I mean, I thought I had this great idea. It's like, well, I'm going to tie down pawns and make it so it's difficult for him to move. And that actually ended up really hurting me in the grand yeah, scheme of things. Not being able to climb while engaged was a yeah, big deal towards the end. That of the was game. a huge deal. And because they were wounded twice, I didn't have the force to uh, to ever get the like defensive maneuvers them out mm -hmm. and then climb up, which was really unfortunate. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's it, it's just kind of one of those things where up until the very end there, because I was winning that struggle handedly. Yeah, like, you were doing a it. very, very, it felt unwinnable for me for a fair amount of time. Yeah, and, and that one that one move, because then you turned around, you scored uh, you scored three points, you got some momentum, um, and then, yeah, mm -hmm. and then Anakin just uh, doing what Anakin does. And, <laughs> Anakin doing what Anakin does. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. It's, it's the nature of the game. Um, it's one reason why I do kind of have a problem with considering this a very high strategy level game. Mm -hmm. And I already know people who are watching this are probably going to disagree with me. But I think there's just too much RNG in the game that really makes it high level strategy. Yeah. Because um, I know one of the, the key parts of being a good player at any game is being able to mitigate that RNG and mitigate that randomness. But the problem is, like, there is so much randomness on this one. Mm -hmm. um, like between the, the the cards, knowing what has to be pulled, the randomness of what objectives are going to be scoring you extra points, um, and then the dice themselves are just really fickle. Yes. Like I I actually have some suspicions that the dice that I've gotten in my core set, and I got to do a salt test on them. I think there's actually some weird weighting issues on them. Really. I, I do think they are because they do seem to roll an absurdly high amounts of fails and a high, absurdly high amounts of crits at times. Okay. Uh, and I've seen it in a few games, so I got to do a salt test on mine because I think they're weird. Because I've watched other games, I'm like, these dice look a lot more normal than <laughs> than what I see on here. But either way, no, you made a lot of really good plays in this game, so I don't want to try and <laughs> discount like oh, your no, here because you, you I definitely did roll some fantastic defense dice throughout, both on Anakin and on Mace. Your uh, your rolls aside, you were making a lot of really good calls, or a lot of really good plays there. Um, and like, I mean, that that was something that. That is something that where this game kind of comes down to, right? I made the mistake, you didn't, and as a result, like you you were able to capitalize that on and and basically get the game. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, like both Mother Talzin and Ahsoka just doing nothing with their clapback attacks all game. Yeah, that felt a little unfortunate. Uh, like how many times did I go into Anakin and you're just like, nah, there's five success, no, five he, defense. Yeah, like you said, that you can just roll five on five dice and just unfortunately not get much through and it's uh, wacky because the dice are weighted in favor of the attacker they regardless are. of how you slice it right so when anakin like it's just like yeah here's five successes mm -hmm. it's like well nothing i can do about and that it's less of a thing on anakin because he only turns a crit into a hit but that is a big deal when it comes to blocking well it wasn't even that because i think like when i was rolling five dice into you you rolled your defense and like well here's five successful yeah, blocks that, and yeah. it's like it's like oh I, I got some i got some fails and maybe a success here so yay so, yeah yeah so i mean this this game had a lot of a lot of factors playing into it and uh, unfortunately near the end there i probably lost the focus a little bit and i made i made a bad call i will fully own up to that ahsoka should have definitely stayed over here uh, it feels weird to make your lightsaber people say, no, 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 I'm going to avoid the fight entirely. I'm going to stand in the back and just stand on the point. 
Oh, I mean, it makes more sense with Ahsoka. Mace usually wants to be right in the fight, but mm-hmm. in this particular game, it, it really did kind of it benefited him to do what he did, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I don't think I don't think he made any bad calls with Mace there or anything like that. Uh, all in all, like it just it was still it was still a solid game. I mean, I still have fun rolling dice with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> game makes me salty sometimes. <laughs> That's I, really what happens? I'm with you. Sometimes you could just get absolutely screwed over, both by the cards and by the dice. Yeah, and I think you had a couple instances where the cards weren't really top deck and what you wanted, especially um, right at the start. <laughs> yeah, we gave you, we gave you that mulligan, um, but e- even so, like it's it's the nature of it. Mm-hmm. And as we get more comfortable, maybe we'll find more ways to sort of like mitigate some of the more random factors of things mm-hmm. here. Um, it's just it's one of those things where it feels kind of bad that you can be having so much momentum in favor, and all of a sudden it just it goes away. It just goes away it's, because the characters you have are injured; they're not scoring that point anymore. Or you're just not drawing the person yeah. you need. Or even like just virtue of like the priority point, right? Yeah, the I priority mean, being in a bad spot for you. That like that's a that's a huge swing. And I mean if you happen to get the rolls where the priority's in your favor a couple rounds in a row, I mean yeah. that's huge and how many times does the priority just wind up being the one Mace is standing on? No, I mean, the opposite side of that is like, you were rolling it, and yeah, okay, Mace has a priority, then I'd roll it, and like, oh, look, Savage has it. That's true, <laughs> right? yeah. So it does work both ways. L- luck works both way in that particular instance. But it was just one of those moments where, like, yep, yeah, this is, it, it all goes away in, in the blink <laughs> of an eye there. Uh, and unfortunately, unfortunately, with my Night Sisters getting downed when they did, and not holding that point for as long as I was hoping they would, and Ahsoka mm-hmm. making... The bad call over there. Uh, there was just a couple factors that I screwed up on a couple things, and that uh, that's that's what cost me the game. I mean, like, like, that's what it basically is. But you know, we got many more games ahead of us in this particular thing. Um, would you have changed anything in your squad? Do you like your squad? I really like my squad. Uh, part of me, a very cynical part of me, as much as I like Anakin, would have thought maybe I put Ahsoka or Luminara in instead and taken. <laughs> and taken the uh, Republic Commandos instead of the 501st. Um, but you get that kind of trade-off. You know, you take your 501st, and you said early on trying to use them to pin as opposed to taking people down is probably the better option. Because <laughs> we saw how good they are taking people down this game. <laughs> uh, a bunch of idiots just slapping each other. <laughs> the worst part is you have, you have that direct comparison of them versus the ARFs yeah. being... And what the, if I use them to pin people and steal them? And the ARPs are just so much better, right? Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's... It, like, I, I like using the 501st as just sort of pin bots. That works kind of fine, but, I mean, it loses some of its FXC later in the game. Yes. That's what it kind of comes down to. Once people are already really spread out and they're kind of where they want to be. Yeah. Yeah, no, and, and that's that's kind of what happened here. Uh, early on, they did some good work for me. Like, like I said, I had a lot of really good momentum early on, and it just... Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it just kind of fizzled. I wasn't able to maintain it. Yeah. We had a very aggressive game. Like I'm looking at my wound counters. I have oh one, my two, goodness. three, four, five, six on me. I see one, two, three, four, five on you. I think. Yep. Um, so yeah, we had a very aggressive game both ways. Very violent. Very violent. But yeah, good game either way, Alex. I'm looking forward to future ones with you. Yeah. And uh, we will see you all next time. Leave your comments below, and of course, if you want to support the channel, Patreon.com/slash Studios. Thanks for watching. Happy wargaming.